No. <laughs> you speak. I'll come and eat and sit in the back. You speak. Yeah, so uh, what a great job by our bullpen. I mean, really all weekend when you look at it, um, they saved us this weekend. And, uh, and then also the offense doesn't get a lot of credit, but they did it on Friday. And they did it again yesterday, just not quite enough. And then today, honestly, you're down six nothing. Their dugout's about as loud as they can be over there talking a little bit of bull. And we just kept grinding it out. And, you know, we got a two run homer here and a two run homer there. And uh oh, we got another one and we had the lead. And uh, McIntyre and Gackle finished it up for us. So, probably the best team win of the year for us just because we were down game three. Uh, just, uh, it was just, it was fun. The last few innings were really fun for us. Dave, y'all didn't come, come all the way back yesterday, but did that maybe give y'all some confidence that when you did get down six, nothing today, that y'all would be able to chip back into it like you did? I feel like it did. I mean, you know, I told Wood when I gave him the ball, I said, just keep it close, man. We got time. And, uh, when Christian came in, we're thinking, okay, if he could get through an inning here, we get the next guy. And then, you know, you chip one away, you hit a ground ball to second after a double, no outs, you get him in on a chopper. We just punched one in, you know, just to change it up, just a little momentum. And uh, we just kind of got lucky here and there. I mean, Sittenfield didn't catch the ball, and he ran a long way for that ball. And the wind's playing with it. But, you know, we ended up scoring that run, I think. And, uh, you know, just it, it added up. It really was just some clutch hitting. Uh, you know, it started with Jones going down and hitting that low pitch and driving it out of, out of the park. And the wind didn't help that one. The wind didn't help any of them. They were going to go. But, uh, you know, the just just big swings, three big swings, six runs, and uh, sacrifice fly by McLaughlin. That was big because they brought the – you know, their last guy in, he's a guy who's really hard to hit. And they were hoping they'd get weak contact there and, and get out of that without a run being scored. And uh, McLaughlin didn't waste any time and just stayed through that pitch and hit it pretty good. But uh, it was a it was a great win for our team. And, and I do believe that we got confidence from Friday and Saturday that we could still come back and win if our bullpen would just give us a little bit of a chance. And they, they gave us a great chance. Have you ever seen a play where there's a walk and then they get the tag after on the overslide? Have you ever seen that? Just what did you think of that play by Stovall? <laughs> so Stovall didn't know it was strike three, obviously, and he tagged him the first time. And the umpire, I don't think, made a call because he knew that he had just rung him up at the plate. And Stovall followed him. He went off, and you saw it. He tagged him. And I, I'm not sure, but I think the other umpire made the call and said, yeah, he came off. He was out because he was way off. So Stovall tells me. But, uh, no, I'd never seen that. And, I mean, that was uh, – I mean, they they would have had runners at first and second with two down. You never know what was going to happen. You said Yachty did it in 2017 or something. Who did? Yachty. Yeah. Oh, I see. He didn't play Coach, that. you guys are – you're 42 and 10, but do you feel like you needed a weekend like this where the offense kind of comes through in a big way? Yeah. Yeah, we've been talking about it. And I, I've been kind of telling them and pleading with them, hey, just – let me write the same lineup down. Just go out and show me that you need to play against right or left or whoever. Swing the bats, be tough outs. And uh, they did it all weekend. And it was it was really good to see. I know we only got eight hits. We had a couple balls hard, but we had three home runs on a day that, you know, you probably need to hit it to dead left on over to get it out of the park with the wind the way it was blowing. So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a good weekend for our offense. You mentioned Jason's home run, but also, you know, he got the full count walk to set up Peyton Holtz, you know, the go, the go ahead. Are you home talking run. about uh, Jones? Yeah, Jones. Yeah, uh, Jones. Yeah, this, no, how good is that this weekend? It was great. Then he stole the base, and uh, we decided to go first moving on the Submariner. And kind of think we caught him off guard. Luckily, he was safe, and he was safe, and they appealed it. But uh, yeah, and he, he got it. I don't know. Maybe it shook him up a little bit, stealing. Maybe he thought he had to be a little too fine. Had a good pitch, foul ball, and then he hung one. And I mean, that's what White is doing right now. If you make a mistake, he punishes it. He's been hitting it hard. That was that was a big swing. Yeah, Dave, I think Jones was 0 for 11 in SEC games for that home run. I mean, but what did you think of that and just how huge, huge was that? Given yeah, his I knew that – I didn't know if he had one hit or none. I, I didn't 
And I just decided they're starting the lefty. I thought Jones had a really good at bat his last at bat on uh, Friday. Um, you know, he, he has power. I'm thinking maybe he'll get into one, maybe he'll hit a home run and, you know, fortunately he did. And, uh, it, it'd be great if we get him going a little bit and we could put him in there and hit him down the order because he brings a lot of power down there. There's, I mean, if he's an everyday player, when he becomes an everyday player, I mean, and he gets comfortable, um, as he gets older, he's going to hit for a lot of power because he hits the ball hard. And what did you see on Holt, Holt's home run? He went down and got it. I'm not even sure what it was. I don't know if it was a, a fastball, change up, or slider. I really don't know. I just know he went down and got it right when he hit it. We were going, that's gone. We got the lead. And uh, But it wasn't a high pitch. It was submarine pitch down, and he backspun it pretty good. It was hit to the right part of the park. You know, so when he had that double that the center fielder couldn't make the play on, that the did the Heisman pose out there at second base? Did you, did you notice that? No, I didn't. Yeah, because he... uh, I'm just worried about the next guy getting him in. Well, was there something in particular Mississippi State was saying in their dugout? You said it was bull. Oh, it was just loud. Just a lot of chirping. They were on a roll. They were rolling. Going down six to going six down six to four, going into the bottom of the sixth. Uh, Hudson hit that uh, huge two run home run, and he was over two going up, up to the plate. Did, did you have a feeling that something was ha going to happen that he was due? Well, I thought he might get a single. I wasn't looking for a home run. I was just wanting to see a base hit and keep it rolling. And but it was, I mean, right when he hit it, it was no doubt he hit it really hard. And uh, yeah, I mean, I had a good feeling when I saw the ball leave the bat. I'll tell you that that was a good feeling. <laughs> And uh, McIntyre and Gackle, you mentioned, both had great, great games out of the bullpen. Uh, had been that one-two punch. How would you assess like uh, their their games uh, uh, today? And and uh, also on, on McIntyre, seeing if uh, this brings him back his confidence yeah, after I mean, the scores. You know, he, he's coming off a day's rest where he threw like forty pitches or whatever, and uh, you know he didn't have his best command, but I thought his stuff was better. He's harder to hit, and you know he ended up walking a few people, but he didn't didn't give up that big hit, which was, was huge. You know, we, we intentionally walked the lefty to get to the next guy and he struck him out. So that was, that was, that was probably the bat of the game right there for us. Gackle has been, I think mostly just a one time a weekend this season. Uh, the one time you did try him a second time, it didn't go well. Just what, what were you kind of hoping to get out of him, and, and just how encouraging was it to see him perform like that? So, you know, through Friday, only through 12 pitches, I think. Yesterday, he went through his full workout. He was not going to pitch. I mean, worked with the strength coach, stretching, all the exercises, some light lifting, some throwing um, to get ready for today. And and our hope was two innings, and if we had to, an out or two more. And we were just hoping Matt could get us two. And if we had to go to him, you know, there in the seventh, we would have. But fortunately, we didn't. We didn't have to. Seems like every game Holt's doing something defensively at the play. Just what, what has he meant to this team this year? Well, he's definitely been a spark plug the second half of the season. He was that guy we were looking for, somebody that could, you know, come in and bring a little energy to the lineup and, you know, beat you with a, with a swing. But he also, he's been beating people with his glove. And uh, he's got some personality and – you know, I made the comment to the team before the season. I didn't know what our personality was. I want to see a little personality. So I think Holt has definitely brought that to our team. A lot of comebacks for you this year. What what makes your team resilient? I think that they believe they're a pretty good team. And I think that I think that our team feels like that we're better than what we played a lot of times. And we still won a lot of games. And they you know, you look at the numbers and you're going, man, they don't hit, they don't hit. And our guys are like, we are better hitters than this. And uh, so I just feel like they don't feel like they're out of the game. Um, and, a, and a win like this can really help that. Your rotation, how do you address it yeah. next week? Yeah, that's obviously the major concern. You know, the win's awesome. Uh, but now we have to really figure this thing out. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we've got some, we've got some things we're thinking about that, um, We'll, we'll probably make a decision if we're going to start some different people or how we're going to handle it. Probably depends on where we are in the standings and some other things. But, uh, you know, we got one guy that's been rock solid all year, and we have two guys that 
you know, have struggled down the stretch here. So, uh, you know, we might have to make a move. We'll see what happens. It seemed like Mississippi State was a really patient team, and, and, and they waited your pitchers out a little bit and then struck a lot. I mean, what did you think about their offense and, and maybe how that contributed to the pitching struggle? Yeah, I mean, times? you look at the last two games, man, they were like, they were, they, they, they were, they were attacking us basically. And uh, I'm almost to the point you felt like they had, they knew a pitch was coming. I mean, the ball that leaves the bull went into the bullpen was a change up on a, I don't know, three, two pitch, something like that. Three, one. You're just thinking, wow. It's like he knew he was throwing, you know, like he tipped something, but uh, I don't, I don't think they did. I just think they put some really good swings and when they got a little steam going over there and a little, it was rolling. They kept it rolling, and we felt very fortunate to get out of, you know, that second inning without, uh, you know, it could have been more. Uh, I know they scored five runs, but the way it was going, I mean, I think they had four in four. We even got an out. I don't remember, you know, but that's one of those innings you you want to put it out of your head a little bit, but you know it happened, and uh, hopefully learn from it. So, because it happens fast, and that's the way they got us. They got us fast. It was like boom. We're down three runs, we're down four runs, you know, down five runs, just like that. And then Gage settled in. But yeah, they're they 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 will make you pitch. They'll make you, you know, get try to get your pitch count up. But they also, when they got it rolling, they're swinging, and they showed that this weekend. And, 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 you know, Hudson White, he, he hits a home run opening day. They didn't hit one for like three months. Now he said three and five games. What what's going on with them? His swing's so much freer. I don't know. You know, we we talked about it three weeks ago, you know, to Hunter. You know, I haven't hit a home run. Your ball's not jumping off your bat. We felt like he had his hands too far back. We said, you got to relax your hands. You get more, you know, whip. I mean, I could go through hitting terminology, but it, he just seemed a little stiff. And, uh, you know, I know coaching him worked a lot. It just seems so much looser and freer and quicker now. So good for him. And then he's obviously a guy that hit well at Peck, and I'm sure you recruited him thinking he'd hit well, and then he's yeah. hitting 230 or whatever. I mean, how big is that for y'all that, that he's hitting like you anticipated? Yeah, it's real big. I don't think you were here. I think I don't know when I said it, either yesterday or Friday, that, uh, you know, I made the comment to him in Kentucky that he's swinging the bat really good and hadn't hit a home run for a long time. Then you hit him there, and he said, yeah, he goes, I'm – I'm getting hot at the right time. I'd rather be hot now than at the beginning of the season. And, you know, we kind of laughed about it, but he's, he's swinging the bat. He's a, definitely a threat down there now. And I like keeping him down there six, seven, eight. It keeps that, keep it, that lineup a little longer. One more, you know, Mason, he did a good job of getting out of that jam in the first thing. I thought, hey, he's going to be okay. Yeah. And then obviously he wasn't. Um, and he's, you know, he pitched pretty well earlier. I mean, what, what, what's, what's, what do you, what'd you see today? And do you think he can fix it? Behind hitters. I mean, even in the first inning, he walks first guy on like five pitches, whatever it was. I mean, we're because of what's going on the last couple of weeks, we got guys running to the bullpen through the tunnel because we cannot get behind like we did. I mean, we didn't want it to happen again. And then then all of a sudden he kicks it into gear, he gets out of the inning. And then the second inning, I think he walks the guy on four pitches. And you're thinking, what what's up? It's uh, I don't know. It's his battle. We We can't fix it. It, I mean, it, we can't fix this. He's got to fix it. He's got to relax, know he's good. Uh, we talk to him. We work with them. Um, mechanics. It's it's all been addressed. It's it's a it's a veteran starter at the Division One level. Just got to he's got to turn the corner. We got to have him. Uh you guys are no strangers to home success, but 33 and three now regular season, just how special uh, has the regular season here been in that bomb yeah, Walker? It, it's been a great season at home as far as wins and losses played solid, played really good defense, played defense everywhere. But, uh, you know, we played three quarters of our games here. We've taken care of the ball um, up until the last couple of weeks. We've, we've done nothing but throw strikes, not walk people, struck out hitters, but, we make them earn it, and uh, that's what happened. The lap from the fourth through the ninth, except for really, you know, Matt came in and you know threw. I had one walk and then two the next, but inning we throw strikes. But uh, Baum Stadium, Baum Walker Stadium, has been you know a great home field advantage for us this year. Thank you.